Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your high definition audio device has a driver prom on your Windows 10 computer. This could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select additional troubleshooters. Where it says underneath get up and running, playing audio, find and fix problems with playing sound. Go ahead and left click on that and select run the troubleshooter. You may want to open up audio enhancements here, so go ahead and select that. We're actually going to make sure disable enhancements is selected here, so make sure that is checkmarked and then apply an OK if you had to change anything. And then also if the volume meter is turned all the way down, you might have to turn it up. You can see that's our next suggestion here, so you might have to open up the volume mixer. And you can adjust the speaker volume there, hopefully that would have resolved it. Make sure your physical speakers are turned on too. I know some people, their system tray audio might be on, but their speaker is turned off. So that is something to take a look at as well. And another thing we can try here after you've exhausted these options would be to go back to the star menu, type in device manager. Go ahead and open that up, device manager, right above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. And you want to expand the sound, video, and game controller section. So go double click on that and then right click on your high definition audio device. Or if it's a real tech device, you can just right click on that as well. Whatever is most applicable to you. And go select update driver. Go ahead and select browse my computer for drivers. And select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. So there'll probably be one by default and there might be a generic one as well. I'd recommend if there's a specific one for your speaker manufacturer, go along with it and select that one. Otherwise you can select a generic one if, if they are available in the list. And we're gonna go select next to install that and then yes again. And that should be about it. Again, would suggest restart your computer if you're still having an issue and then hopefully at that point, everything should have been resolved. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.